And we are back, ladies and gentlemen, live with you. The polls, some are closed, some are still open, and some will be open longer, according to the reports we're getting, because of a huge late turnout in New Hampshire. You keep it right here on Newsmax Television. When my show ends at 8 p.m. Eastern, we'll go to live coverage wall-to-wall. -wall. I'll be involved. Other hosts will be involved. Dick Morris will be here, and so will John Gizzi. Uh, Newsmax Chief Political Columnist and Newsmax Chief Washington Correspondent, who is on the ground, which is good because I wouldn't want him floating on the air. He's on the ground in New Hampshire. Hello, Mr. Gizzy. <laughs> Hello, Steve. It's a pleasure to be here. Well, nice to be inside, too, because maybe it's cold outside. It's cold outside, but apparently, according to the reports I'm getting, and you're there, uh, it's not stopping uh, what is uh, going to probably be, according to the Secretary of State in New Hampshire, a record voter turnout. So tell me about what you're seeing and where you are. All right. About 60 percent of eligible voters in the Granite State showed up. In Merrimack, there were long lines and people had to wait in the cold. What I'm seeing is that based on early results as well as anecdotal evidence, Donald Trump probably will win. Uh, the coveted second place position appears to be looking more and more like John Kasich's. Look, Steve, we've talked about this before. There is a centrist, traditionalist, slightly less than right-wing faction in New Hampshire, which Governor Kasich played to in more than 106 town hall meetings throughout the state. It appears to be paying off. Third place could go anywhere. Ted Cruz, Marco Rubio, who was drawing big crowds even after his modest debate performance, and of course Jeb Bush, who fiercely went on the attack against Trump. It's an exciting night, and I think it'll be a long night. What about on the, uh, on the Democrat side, uh, all indications and all expectations point to a huge uh, victory for Bernie Sanders and really a humiliation, uh, as some are uh, calling it or predicting it will be, for Hillary Clinton. Well, remember something. Hillary Clinton lost badly in Iowa to Barack Obama in 2008. She rebounded because of New Hampshire defying polls and prognosticators, and that gave her campaign life going into South Carolina and as late as May. Now it looks like the obverse is true. Bernie Sanders rallied the grassroots. Young people were evident for him. I saw a uh, truck bearing the legend, Nurses for Bernie Sanders, with his picture on it, and it was playing burning burning disco inferno i kid you not uh one could feel the burn everywhere even in frozen new hampshire well you know what john there's a special place in hell well, for I those nurses you Sanders know that don't you slide coming <laughs> i'm not going to touch that i've got a sister-in-law and a niece who are nurses so well I'm, 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 I'm referring of course to the remark made by madeline albright that women who don't vote for Hillary have, there's a special place in hell for them. All right, so you say it's going to be a long night. Uh, the indication uh, that the, uh, or the, the report that the polls are staying open longer in some areas because of a late surge in turnout, uh, that's, that's got to be good news for Sanders, and it's got to be uh, good news for, uh, for uh, Trump, you would think. Um, okay, let's see, we have some results actually coming in now. Folks, you could check them out at the bottom of your screen, um, and we'll be uh, having those results coming in all night long. Thank you very much, John Gizzi. I appreciate it. We'll see you uh, on the extended coverage starting at 8 p.m. Eastern right after this show. Always great to talk to you, my friend. We're taking your calls next, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so, of course, if you want to talk to me, thank you, John. 877 Newsmax. You could tell there's a bit of a delay in the uh, satellite from uh, here to there. 877-NEWSMAX, 877-639-7629. Your call's next.